Greetings YouTube, JC here with a video just for fun. I took some interesting images earlier this evening of the magnets in my Audio-Technica Phono cartridge. Now to show you what we're going to be looking at, this is a diagram of an Audio-Technica Phono cartridge. Not exactly the model that I have, but it does show the unique design that Audio-Technica uses where they put all of the moving parts of the cartridge on the cantilever itself and uh, therefore anything that's actually in the cartridge body does not move. You'll see the uh, cantilever down here. This is the stylus tip. And the uh, stylus rides in the groove of the record and picks up the vibrations. And those vibrations are transmitted up the cantilever here. And there are two moving magnets here. They're called uh, uh, vector-aligned dual magnets. Directly above the magnets are a set of coils and these coils are for your right channel and these coils are for your left channel and they are shielded from one another with this mu metal shield and uh, this is what separates uh, the right and left channel in your cartridge so I was uh, goofing around tonight with my camera and I got a replacement stylus uh, for my Audio Technica 301 EP cartridge today and uh, I decided that I would uh, take some groovy pictures. First off, let's look at this picture. This is a top view of uh, the stylus that goes into my cartridge. One of them, this is the conical stylus. And uh, here are the magnets. And you can see there's the cantilever that goes out there. This is where the cartridge is actually mounted up into uh, the body when you put the stylus in. And I got a better shot here. This is uh, the stylus that I took out of the cartridge that's on the turntable and I put it into uh, another uh, body that I have. Uh, this is the uh, Akai PC35 body with the uh, suspect stylus in it. And we'll zoom in and take a look here. And this is a pretty good shot. And you lose resolution as you zoom in, but here you go. Here's the uh, stylus tip itself. There's the cantilever. And here's the mount with the uh, cantilever going into it, and it has the magnets on it. In this image, this would be your right channel here, and this would be the left channel. And I think I figured out exactly why this particular stylus didn't sound very good and had to be replaced. If I jump over here to this image and zoom in, if you look very carefully here, you will notice that... Uh, one of the magnets is actually uh, looking like it's skewed off of its vector a little bit. So this would be the right channel, and this would be the left channel, and the right channel is the one that's been giving me the problems. And if you look really closely, you can see that it almost looks like it's loose in the mount, and I'm wondering if that's uh, what might have been causing the problem. The uh, new stylus that I got today is uh, hyper-elliptical for this cartridge, and... Uh, there's absolutely no distortion whatsoever coming off of that one. It sounds absolutely wonderful. So anyhow, I thought you guys would like to see those images. I just find it interesting the way Audio-Technica has their cartridges designed, uh, that the uh, styluses uh, actually carry the moving magnets. When you hear about a moving magnet cartridge, that's what it means. And before we sign off here, I want to say thanks to everybody who tuned into Interface today. If you missed it, you can catch it again at live.scottydonline.com. And if you have any, uh, no idea what I'm talking about, Interface is a webcast uh, that's dedicated to techertainment. We have a lot of fun. We do it every week at 7 o'clock Eastern Time U.S. That's 4 o'clock Pacific, 12 midnight GMT. We're not going to be doing it this coming Friday. The next one is going to be happening on the 20th of August, uh, Friday evening for those of you here in the United States and whatever time it happens to be for all of you around the world. And if you want to check the page out, I'm going to put the link down in the description of this video. So anyhow, thanks for watching. JC, waving bye-bye.